Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 900. Nasdaq's off 210. S&P's are off 62. Let's get into that oil market and see what we got out here. So, okay. Oh, look at that. It didn't rise that much. Uh, inventories rose 1.95 million barrels. Okay. Um, market looking for just over three, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, and, and on that news, you saw crude pop about 10 to 15 pennies. We were trading at 24.40, call it. We're trading at 24.60 right now. Yeah, so there's, uh, there's basically not much there. That's what it comes down to. Meaning uh, price-wise, uh, you know. Yeah, that's, and that's what I would expect again. Yeah. You know, in any other world, uh, the inventory numbers are determining the supply and demand. Uh, much bigger forces at play determining supply and demand in that market for the months to come. Let's go to Wayne. He wants to talk oil out here from Dallas, Texas. Hey, Wayne, what's going on? Hey, um, I was wondering, have you heard anything about, like, the Saudis were trying to get rid of the, our shell companies? Oh, yeah, that, I mean, that, that, that's, that's a fact, yeah. That, that's Trump's, Trump's buddy. Th that, th those, those, are, those are good buds, right? You know, yeah. Yeah. What, what, Do you think they were smart enough to maybe buy puts on the oil companies? No, no, no. They're they're in a much larger game than that, man. <laughs> much larger game. Yeah. This is all. This is all about. Uh, you know. Yeah. It, the 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 bottom line is that, and, and what Wayne's talking about, folks, is this: is that fundamentally, all these oil companies know what oil price is priced in the ground to get out of the ground. Our shale companies, I don't know the exact number, but we're way below it right now. Um, and they knew that when they were starting this war, for sure. Yeah. Does that... So do you, uh, what do you think the bottom is? Well, it, it, this thing, you're 24, man. This thing can go to, what did I just say, uh, the next level. 16? Yeah, 16 bucks, man, you know. And, and oil can do that, I mean, I know it sounds bizarre, folks, but when I did have an office up in Alaska, the, the crash, let me see if I can find this. this. I don't think it goes back this far. But I remember it, it was a 1082. And I remember just, you know, what happens in Alaska, folks, everyone works East Coast time. So everyone's up like wicked early in the morning and we're in the diners. And when this thing got into that level, it was like, oh my God, uh, you know, Alaska was hurting in, in a huge way, uh, real estate wise, because the pipeline up in Alaska then, I'm going to bring you back that many years, uh, was even larger. Yeah, here it is. I got it. Okay, so there you go. So 88, you were at $12. Yeah, $9.75 and 86. Yeah. And, you know, bottom line is that, yeah, there's no reason it can't go down. We, this, this oil, you know, if you've ever seen the, uh, like, oh, picture folks a big bathtub, um, you know, just filled with oil. And they stick a pose down there, man, and it comes out, and, you know, so there's plenty of oil. They've been, you know, all the companies, not just the Saudis, you know, the bottom line is that they've been keeping price high for a long period of time, so. And uh, one other question, how about, I was going to ask you about the TLT. The TLT, so the TLT is the 20-year plus bond plus. Now, what are you doing with the TLT? I was wanting to think it was going further down. Uh, I wouldn't be shot in it right now. I'd wait for a little bounce if that's what you're looking for. I mean, the TLT just went from 179 down to 151 in six days, you know? Okay, thank you. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. This, this oil is pretty wild, though, huh, Tom? I mean, oh, it definitely is, man. I mean, you know, like I was saying, you sent me um, an email, one of the pro shares triples, right? Just basically they had to liquidate it because, um, you know, these triples and doubles... It'd be great. Maybe you can get Dave Maz on again, kind of talk about He's coming about on Monday. This deck is coming Monday, yeah. So, um, you know, they're using complex financial instruments, right, to be able to get double and triple exposure. And when you have this type of move in oil, man, um, that some of those they said were basically um, that they had to basically liquidate to, to be able to, you know, have things work out as best they could to end those. And I guess they end them as a pair, so the bull and the bear. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's... Uh, it's a, I think, was it O-L-E-D? Uh, no, an O-L-E-D, it was DRIP. Was it DRIP? D-R-I-P, one second, let me see this. Here, we'll get this for you in the break. We had a couple of targets asking which ones were they. Well, no, it wasn't DRIP. Look at this, oh my God, this is the direction oil and gas bear 
oh my, look at this. This is sick. This is just the opposite, folks, okay? So, wow, look at how it went down, though. This, this went from $725 five days ago. Two days ago, it was a $250. Today's a $379. You can't trade these folks when they get like this. I mean, that's, you know, you can trade them, but guess what? You might as well just go to the casino and try to play. Uh, what would be the worst at the odds at the casino, Tom? Uh, probably uh, roulette or something? Play war. Go play war, war? at the casino. Is, do they have such a thing as war? Yeah. Yeah, they do. And like, like we play war when we were kids? Yeah, except you got to pay to play. No. Oh, <laughs> but pretty close. What yeah, a I trip. Think, you know, I, 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 I haven't like played it myself, but I, I'm fairly certain they have war um, uh, as, a, as a card game at, uh, at the casino. Do they? Well, you I know, don't, I, don't, when, I don't think the odds are very good on that game, though. Yeah, I, I bet they're not. There's no doubt. I never realized that the casino in Fort Lauderdale, the Hard Rock, was so big. You know, when I rode down there on uh, yep. Saturday, it was yeah. like, it goes for blocks and blocks and blocks. I mean, it's like, if you ever seen it, folks, it's really cool. It has a monster guitar. Yeah. Uh, the hotel itself is the yeah, is, shape of it. Is the guitar, big, right? Yeah. Crazy, man. Crazy. And they do, they run poker tournaments over there. Probably not going to be running them anytime soon, but they're much bigger than they run over here because of that. But guess what, man? I don't know when the last time you've been to the Tampa Hard Rock is. I told you, that place is um, blowing up in size as well. Also, right? Yeah. Yeah.